But I'm glad you're home. Yeah. Now that all the hard work's done. What was hard? What? You know how heavy that transfer case is? Dude, the transfer case is this big. Yeah. It's like the size of my head. Okay, there's one in that box. Let me see you bench it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, what, what was that? What was that, Kevin? Oh. Put it over your head. Put it over your head. <laughs> how was your trip? It was good. I can't do two weeks on the beach, man. I'd get too. Now, I, I, I know that sounds, yeah, I know that sounds, but come on, you know me, I can't sit down for two weeks. I can't sit on a beach and drink for two weeks. Like, I have to do something. I don't know. <laughs> don't give me that. That's a little dirty. This thing on? What's up, Light Right Nation? Uh, as you may know, Kevin and Brittany are not here. They're not at Brittany's family reunion. So, here I am all by myself, still. And uh, not too long ago, we had the stepchild in the shop. Kevin and I uh, went through it, see what was wrong, bad, need to be replaced, upgraded, and all those parts are finally here. So we're gonna get the stepchild back in the shop and uh, get her going. And I know some of you guys out there are parents taking your kid to daycare and they don't wanna go inside. How'd you get them inside? You drug it. <laughs> Parents always win. Children never want to cooperate. God dang it. Ugh. Ugh. Kevin, where are you? Ugh. All right, time for plan B. Plan B. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna have a rim. One ARB jack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it's done when you're all by yourself. Ugh. So one of the things we're gonna do is replace all the joints. So before I get it up in the air, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna check some pinion angle measurements so that when I'm done, we can set it all back to where it was. So one of the things you can do when you're measuring pinion angle is this little machine spot right here. There's one on this side of the diff and there's another one on the other side. Those are perpendicular to the pinion angle because these are machine marks for the cover. So you take your little dial gauge. Boom. We are at five and a half degrees up on the pinion. So that's where we're going to set it when we put it back together. Then you repeat the process in the rear. 9.30. Well, that's where she'll go when we put it back together. Always do the rock test. Make sure it ain't gonna fall off. So we got stepchild in the air, got the shoes off. Before Kevin left, we went over a few things that needed to be addressed and or serviced and or upgraded. So one of them is we're going to install a rock crawler truss third link. We're gonna get rid of this fourth link over here because the top of this link, when you stuff it, likes to hit the AC compressor. You can see it's already touched it actually a little bit right here. So that's one of the upgrades we're gonna do. So we're gonna cut this guy off. We're gonna weld on a nice truss and put a new third link in it. We've already, uh, uh, we already did the fuel filter adapter delete. So we got a little bit more room here for this, for this link to stuff up in here. We're gonna check that too. With the addition of the third link, 
we are going to plan to do a triangulated four link in the rear. We don't have time right now, so it's gonna be a future upgrade, but as long as I have everything out up front, we already took the exhaust out. Kevin and I fished it out of this hole right here. We're gonna to go to a mid-mount fuel tank. So I'm going to route the exhaust differently than it is currently. So it's gonna run down through here. I'll show you that in a minute. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to swap out this tea case because it's been in here for almost 100,000 miles. And the last thing we want to do is have it fail or give Kevin any more problems than it already has because he's leaving on a three month road trip. And we want to fix this before it gives him any more problems. So America's Most Wanted, as you know, we got a brand new tea case and adapter right here. So I'm gonna yank that out and swap it. Uh, and send the old one back. The other thing we have is brand new transmission mount, transfer case mount, brand new transfer case mount, transmission seal as long as we're in there. The overflow has a crack in the bottom of it. We fixed it a while ago, but we're gonna put a brand new one in. Also got some brown paper bags and some joints. Uh -huh. So we're gonna, if we have to, we'll replace some. We're gonna rebuild the rest. Here is the Rock Crawler 3 link. So I have to weld this truss on. We'll go into that. Here's the new link. Magnaflow. So Magnaflow stepped in because I need to make a whole new exhaust. We need to reroute the exhaust for the center mounted tank and the triangulated four link. So that's a plan to upgrade. So what we're gonna do is get the exhaust out of the way now while I have the time. So fast forward to day two. Uh, I was out here for quite a bit last night. Um, as you can see, there's a pile of dirt and a plate that came off the bottom of this thing. Now, I have taken transfer cases out of military Humvees, 1097s, 1113s, and a handful of uh, 1152s, no, 1151s. We got 1152s right at the end, so I never got to do a transfer case in one of those. And I will tell you, this Jeep is kicking my butt because these bolts that run through here for the lowers, they're bent. Kevin definitely, uh, definitely uses this to its full potential. This guy was galled up and bent and it took me forever to get it out. Forever, because I had to get this bolt behind it out of that guy so I can get that guy down so that I can pull this guy off so I can pull this transfer case out because you can't get to the top two bolts. Yes, in hindsight, I probably should have pulled the body. I would probably have the transfer case out already, but I figured, hey, I've done them in Hummers before. Why, why would a Jeep be any harder? Uh, well, I was wrong. So if you got a big job to do, you should probably pull the body. It'd be a lot easier. All right, she is out. A little dirtier than that one. Why does that one look bigger? Because it's clean maybe? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna transfer over the yolks. Muscle that guy back in. All right, I better go eat some lunch first though. Maybe some Wheaties. There it is. Now I gotta put it in there. Uh, it's all prepped. We uh, massaged the floor in a couple of spots. So now I'm about to see how really out of shape I am and try to bench press that sucker back up in there all by myself. Where are you, Kevin? I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> Pain is what? Weakness leaving the body. There you go. She's in. 
brand new America's Most Wanted tea case, just so we can make it three more months before the Atlas comes out, before I have to put that in here. So we'll just call this some practice. At least they won't have any failures, and if they do, it's not gonna be because of the tea case, because that guy is brand new. And uh, don't get it twisted, they're just about as heavy as Humvee tea cases, and those guys suck too. So we're gonna get moving. I'm gonna put on some music. All right, now that the tea case is in, we're gonna concentrate on the upper link and the third link. So we are going to get rid of this guy and install this guy. Cut this bracket off, clean the frame all up. So how this works, these two bolts on this truss get bolted right here on the factory Dynatrax pumpkin. So it'll go here, it locates itself. We just have to clean this all off, weld it all up, and then we can get rid of this fourth link over here so that we only have three. It's gone. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. The, my light died, so you guys really can't see what I got going on, but it's all cleaned up. We're all cleaned up and ready to go. So tomorrow morning we'll come in here and bolt that truss on here and weld it up. All right, got her all cleaned up, inside, outside. Check fitment real quick. All right, there it is. So if it doesn't look like it quite sits all the way down, so we're gonna have to trim some of this back because it doesn't fit in this hole either. And action! Let's try it again. Come here, you little shit. Oh. Almost, it's almost down, it's almost down now. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. All right, let's bolt this sucker in and get ready to weld her up. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Then on the front, on the front I did a triple pass. A triple pass weld across here. So there's a root and then three more stacked welds on top. Uh, that should be plenty strong enough. We got some light up in here. You can see they look really up. Oh, got an LED light so you get a little bit of flicker. But you can see them. We got the upper arm in. And that side was a pain in the butt, but we got it pinched in there. We just have a punch sitting in there, holding place till I can get bolts. I gotta get bolts tomorrow. We're gonna replace all these bolts, even this guy. This guy right there, not so good. This guy, not so good. This guy, gotta get a new one. But uh, yeah, the third link is in. So now we get to delete this guy over here. We get to yank him out. I gotta cut this guy off and then we're gonna cycle it 
and make sure I can cut these bump stops down. Kevin's gonna be super excited. All right, so we got this other link out of here. We took this guy out. We took the springs and the hydro bumps out and the bump stops that were down here. And we're gonna cycle this guy out and see what it does and then reset the new bump stops. We need to still cut this guy off, but uh, we're gonna see where this guy goes and see if it clears. I think it's gonna go right up in here. There you have it, full stuff. I got a little bit to go, but I got that guy gonna hit the oil pan. So if that wasn't there, we'd be fine. But yeah, she doesn't even come close to the oil filter. None of these lines are tight, nothing. We clear the frame by a midget. We're not even hitting the AC compressor with this, but I don't even think it'll get close. Yeah, nothing's bound up. Nothing up here, the lines are still good. A little tight. She's tight, she's stuffed. She goes to full bump now. That's awesome. We now have to modify the bump stops. So this guy, we're gonna have to cut the sleeve up a little bit, which I have room, I've already checked between this and the top coil of the spring. So we're gonna move three quarters here. We've already lowered this another quarter of an inch. We just spun the collar down a quarter of an inch. And I'm hoping that I don't have to cut that thing because that's a solid brick of aluminum and that's gonna, that's gonna take some time. So we cut off three quarters of an inch and I used a hose clamp to just get it square. And I cut it a hair long and just grinded, grinded it flush. So we're set up at ride height and I cut this perch off so that we had a little bit more adjustability because as you know, we gained some more by going to the three link and clearing everybody. So now we're all set up. We're at about six degrees of caster at ride height and we're gonna bump it out and make sure I have this set at the right height and see what happens. So as we're going down, we're going down. We're hitting the, hitting the pad real good. We're almost bottomed out. Still doing good, still doing good. Shock's bottomed out. Bump is bottomed out. We're sitting on there real good. Six degrees of caster at ride. So it probably gained a little bit of caster, which is good, but we're still on the bump. We're not gonna chew anything up. Now we're just gonna tighten everything up, put the springs back in it and put her back on the ground. Oh no, I gotta do exhaust first. So but we'll do that in the next video. Well, now I got help. Not all the hard parts. Oh, <laughs> the camera's going right there. <laughs> but I'm glad you're home. Yeah. Now that all the hard work's done. What was hard? What? You know how heavy that transfer case is? Dude, the transfer case is this big. Yeah. It's like the size of my head. Okay, there's one in that box. Let me see you bench it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, what was that? What was that, Kevin? Oh. Put it over your head. Put it over your head. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. You didn't do that, you had no help? No, I got a bruise on my shoulder and everything. So you like get up to here and have to like, Ugh. How was your trip? It was good. I can't do two weeks on the beach, man. I'd get too, now I, I, I know that sounds, yeah, I know that sounds, but come on, you know me, I can't sit down for two weeks. I can't sit on a beach and drink for two weeks. Like I have to go do something. I don't know. <laughs> don't give me that. Well guys, how, how, did, how did he do? I mean, we got it all back together. I mean, he still has to make the exhaust. We gotta put the drive shafts on. We have one little stud here that's mangled. I don't know if we ever showed, did we show that? No, we didn't, cause- um... so There was a stud that was stuck and he had to cut it with the plasma and get that all off, so we gotta replace that, but- um... And I didn't mess up the wheel. <laughs> yeah, he did really good. So there's a few more things we gotta do, but we'll show you that on another video. <laughs> I was gonna close this out, but since it's not my video and he's filmed the whole thing, 
I think, <coughs> I think we just let Chris finish this out, close it out, bud. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and remember you get all of your Lightbrite merch and stickers on lightbrightstudios.com. We'll see you later. Later, guys. Guys, look at our dog right now. Look at her. She's looking for mice in the garage. So when we first moved in, we, uh, we found a little mom mouse and baby mice that are no longer here, but that is apparently, well, we don't think they're here. No, there's, there, there, there's something still here. Because there's something, still, there's something is still here. There's still little hoops and stuff. Right? She is better than a barn cat at finding, catching, and killing rodents. I don't know if it's the docks inside of her or what, but Jelly, what are you doing? Jelly, what are you doing? Are you getting the mice? Go get the mice, go get it. Are you getting the mice? Go get, get them. Go get the mice. Get the mice. Get it, get it. Where'd they go? Go get it. Where'd they go?